Okay. So. Why you are spiritual is an incredibly valuable question to ask yourself. There is no right. There is no wrong. Ever in anything. Ever. 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 There's never a right and there's never a wrong. It's important. Well, nothing's important. <laughs> Everything's important. Nothing's important. But. It would it probably, most likely, serve you to ask yourself these questions, right? As I always say, I believe that asking the right question or asking questions, uh, asking questions is so much more powerful than the answer. The answer stops the 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 flow, right? The answer goes, um, "Why did the chicken cross the road?" To get to the other side, boom. <laughs> what is the meaning of life? Love, boom. Why do you start spirituality? To know God, boom, stops. It stops the energy on some level, an answer. So don't look for an answer. Don't look for an answer. Inquire what is going on here. I mean, there. What's going on there that is leading you to be what in this world calls spiritual? Now, let me say this. Many people, many people, haven't asked yourself that question. And one of the reasons many people haven't asked themselves that question is that there's no, we're not slamming religion at all here. Religion has its purpose in whatever it is. It, it does what it does, right? So many people, religion is their spirituality. doesn't matter. Listen. Uh, these eye drops to be my spirituality. Sometimes they are. Um, so many times in religion, which is people's spirituality, they're only doing it or being in it because their parents did it, because their community did it, because their culture did it. Guarantee you, if you go to India and in certain parts of India, most people are Hindu. <laughs> And in other parts, most people are Buddhist. If you go to the United States, most people are Christian. If you go to, right? If you go to the Middle East, most people are Muslim. Whatever happens to be, it doesn't matter. So it's usually your spirituality, when it comes in the form of religion, which is fine, is because that's what you've been fed and you've been told. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. So. Many people, and I believe this to be, not believe this to be true, I see it to be true in the world, is that over the last generation or two, a lot of people that, that have been born into religions are questioning religions, are really looking at that. So, right, so, there is a million reasons to, to start a religion. You could have what would, might be called an inner calling that you're like whoa i don't even know what it is it could be like wow i've had a mystical experience no inner calling is different well it could be the same uh, um you could have an inner calling meaning something's telling me that there's something more than this world that i see here right Something's telling me that there's more. And so that will start an opening within yourself to start a path of studying or listening, of trying things out, right? So this kind of like inner calling. And it you and you're on the quest, it's a quest basically, to kind of figure out what it all is. What is that thing that's beyond this world? What is that thing? Right? There's a million, million answers to that, but it doesn't matter. So that could be you answer an inner calling. So we've got two things so far. The first thing could be that it's because your family and your culture, you just become that religion. That's it. And then the next one is you have an inner calling, like something in you says there's something going on here. Something's different. Third thing could be a real mystical experience. 
a real mystical experience where and it that mystical experience is very difficult to describe because it comes in a million different forms right it could be that you're walking down the the street one day and you're just doing your thing and suddenly you do not feel like yourself at all suddenly you feel connected with all that is like a kind of uh an uh experience of oneness with the ground with the people with the sky with the air and it and you're not on any drugs <laughs> and you like you have this like you almost disappear into the oneness this is very common. this is very common this like all of a sudden suddenly first of all mystical experiences cannot be um um called on it happens it it's a spontaneous thing that happens right so you could have one of those and be like what the hell something happened now depending on who you are, you might say, oh, I have to go figure it out. So, huh, what is this mystical experience? So I go to spirituality. Another person might go to what? Science and see my brain did something. So I need to, to go figure out what did my brain do where I lost myself and I felt at one with everybody, right? That could be a reason too, a mystical experience, a mystical experience, right? So we have religion, we have an inner calling, we have mystical experience, right? What um, Inski said. Inski says, if I'm totally honest with myself, I used to seek to be spiritual, to impress others, and to be seen as spiritual as opposed to want the freedom of being of spiritual. Then I, I did it to be free. Now I'm simply being it rather than trying to do it, and I experience greater peace inner stillness and less attachment to the external stuff, my ego convinces me I need to be okay. Right. Same here, Inski. Very good. Okay. And, and, and Inski is actually pointing out something very important is that you develop and you shift and you change. And so so the reason why you started in the first place is, could be a very different reason than why you're spiritual now. Right. That's a great, great. Um, yeah, that's a great comment. Culture, because your family did it. Inner calling, mystical experience. Now we're going to get to the fourth one, which is our topic for today. <laughs> we only have a few minutes left. Many people become spiritual to avoid the world, to avoid pain, to make sense of the world and the, okay, the, these are two different things. Let me say, let me say this: to make sense of 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 chaos, make sense of what's happening in the world, there must be a reason. There must be a reason. So God will tell me. I'm not making fun of this. I'm just saying there must be a reason. This is why when people say there nothing happens, um, everything happens for a reason, right? So there must be a reason. So you go to spirituality for that reason. I was watching, I watched this, great, oh my God, um, Inski. <laughs> I was finishing watching this Australian version of Alone, the show Alone. Anyway, it's a long story. Anyway, this one person doing this thing of staying out in the in the wilderness alone for many days was very, very, very um, Christian. And he couldn't find food <laughs> for many days. Couldn't find food, couldn't find food. He prayed and prayed and prayed um, that Jesus would bring him some food. Um, and he never got food. <laughs> he never got food. And then as he was leaving, when he tapped out and said, I'm leaving, he, he was like, thank you so much. I know you didn't bring me food, but I'm so grateful for for what I did have and da 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 da. So it's kind of like that. I have to make sense of the world and then, and then, um, and then, and then what's going to happen is that the, that the supreme being is going to come or something is going to come intervene into the situation and bring me food <laughs> or cure my cancer or to take my pain away or to um, to um, save someone on a trip or to whatever happens to be. So all of those, all of those are on some level a way of using spirituality to avoid. What's the biggest, the biggest use of spirituality to, to avoid? To avoid. What's that?
to avoid fear. There's nothing wrong with any of this to avoid fear, right? Because the egoic mind does not want you to be afraid. Because fear, now I'm not talking about if a lion is chasing you or there's an earthquake and you have to get out of a building. I'm not talking that kind of fear. I'm talking the underlying fear of making sure that your life goes a certain way, that your everyone is safe, that everyone does this, and my I keep my job and my kids stay safe and all that kind of underlying fear. Because that fear is all about control, right? So if you dig a little deeper, people use spirituality to avoid facing fear and avoid facing, not all, avoid facing their lack of control. So spirituality can become, can become another way for the egoic mind to feel like it's in control. Because now I understand what God's doing. Now I get it. I understand this and I understand this and I understand this. So now I get it. So I've, I've controlled my fear, right? Because there's a reason for everything. There's nothing wrong or right with any of this, with any of this. I want you to look at this. This is what, what I am bringing up here is to look at if you're using your, your spirituality to avoid just look at it. Because many times, if you're using the spiritual, your spirituality to avoid, then it's just your egoic mind trying to be spiritual. It's just your separate self trying to have control. Take a deep breath. That's all. That's all I want to say today. What are you thinking, everybody? What are you thinking? All that says, I guess not wanting fear is technically the same as my inner peace answer. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> you're trying to find something. Almost every one of those answers were on some level, this avoiding fear, avoiding lack of control. The truth is you don't have any control and you're never gonna have control. I'm asking myself, what would be, what would I be left with without my spirituality? Mm, that's a great question, Sue. Cheers to that. What? would I be left with without my spirituality? That's a good question, girl. Fear searches for medication anywhere. Oh, I love that term. Did you just say that? Did you just say that, Kyrie? That's pretty genius there. That's pretty awesome. I have to write that down. Fear searches for medication. <laughs> 